Welcome to part 29 of the Antian campaign for Total War Attila. I've just rolled the turnover. In the last part we had a couple of quite tough battles up around Raha and we kind of dealt the Huns a pretty bad blow in the sense we've now reduced the Huns to I mean they're very weak now even in relation to us because they're reduced to a single stack down here but they're still a menace now the other thing I've actually noticed I was looking at checking this just before I started is the Rugians have expanded out into my home, old homelands which is going to be a problem they've expanded out quite aggressively snatching the land, territories here so I really need to get out and expand to this area and this area before I get bottled in it, this this bozo's just kind of wounded my spy which is not very very helpful this settlement here is on the point of rebellion so so we've got a few problems that need doing with hopefully this will complete give us a bit ex more extra cash we've got this settlement here I really would like to to build up here to get this as this 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 building here because that will actually give us some kind of allowed us to recruit champions at very least that would give us an agent to get out into the field so I'm going to try and hang on to the cash for the moment see if we can get this underway it's going to give a risk because we don't really have the food in this area so I suppose I could build this just to think get the sanitation going yeah I think I'm going to build that I know it's going to but the other thing I want to do is definitely get out here in this turn so so I think that's all we can do this time so we're just going to roll the turnover yeah I think we might be in for a period of kind of again just burning through the turns trying to find a way forward so I suppose I could move the priest at the shaman over I really need to get some agents out I say I could move that shaman over to try and improve the public order in in that new settlement that could be worth considering So, got a non-aggression pack for the Gepids, I'll take that. I don't particularly want to go to war with anyone, even the Rugins. Until I've got a power base and some strength, I'd like to see off the Huns. I mean, destroying the Huns would be quite nice at the moment. So, yeah. There's no ordinary rebellion. Yes, I know, I've got the Separatists. Critical success, Allegiance Huns has accomplished their mission. So, taking a toll upon the venerable subject. And to this occasion, a member of the family has been built. Intervene. Zora is. Uh, I'm going to give blessing on that because she's not particularly very good. And I don't know who Zora Zorak is. Oh, he's one of my generals. I mean, how bad is he? Oh, he's still pretty good, even despite his other traits. So if we can actually... Cost some mercenary units, barbarian maps. I suppose we can give him that. Personal influence, gold upkeep costs for mercenary units. I mean, we got most of these armies have got some mercenary units in. Commanded army upkeep for range, that could be quite nice. Morale when reinforcing campaign movement range hmm. that could be useful where are you oh you're actually down here that could be useful because if when it comes to get across here it will be there I think first thing we're gonna do is get rid of these idiots I don't want these guys to get into any Power, just gonna auto resolve this, guys. Got 
got enough problems with that other silly little NT and army. No, uh, I'm just going to kill the captives. So, get you back into here. And that was the public order in this area. Nine. It's not still not brilliant. But if I move, if I move you across the border into there. That was the public order now. Minus one. But we could mitigate that by. So you can recruit Slavic champions. I think we can start building this army up a little bit actually. Let's get the champions, it's going to take two turns to recruit. And I'm going to say we can just build this army up a little bit. That should solve that public order problem. We'll get you into here. She's made it positive. We can get the religion going. And the religion keep growing in this area. 83% now it's dropping. Province to be treason. Yeah, I think she's going to have to flip backwards and forwards. Let's get you out. So you can keep an eye on the Huns. Let's see where these Huns are going. I, I mean, I'll be quite happy for the Huns just to keep moving that way. If they do that, we'll, we'll make a dash for there. So, so I think that's all we can do in this part. I don't really want to build this up just yet. So, Ready for battle. Uh, I think we're kind of let you build up here. Yeah, I know these armies are quite small and weak but I need to watch my economy. I really need to get some provinces out working. So. Military access. Yes. Grant that because if these guys can come down and bash someone that'd be quite appreciated I mean is it worth taking a chance making a dash for that settlement over there yeah I think we're going to go for it guys especially if the Huns keep moving off love to kill them but the problem is going to be ambushing them courage descent yes I know right we're gonna to need to drop you down straight away we're, we're gonna go for it guys so we're gonna raise a general but I don't want I think you're probably the most expendable and what I'm going to do is just raise a cheap mercenary here. The reason for that is I don't want any stupid little agent coming in here. So we're just going to check where's the Huns. Oh, they're just lurking there. That's going to be no good. So I think we're just push you out this way. And we're just going to have to go for it, guys. We're going to have to go for this. So we, at least we've got some kind of agents that we can recruit. Um, you're still recruiting those. Can't move these guys. And if I pull these out of here... These troubles, these guys are on the other side of water. This river's going to be a real pain in the neck. I think we'll just have to see if these guys can come up further north. So I think that's all we can do this turn.
I mean, we're going to have to send that kind of army out to settle that new settlement. We're just going to have to take a chance on it. We can't really defend it. So we're just going to have to kind of sneak out there, populate it, hope nobody notices, survive three turns. If somebody comes in and kills the, the, kills the general, that's just tough luck. He's my suicide general. But we do need to get enough. I'd like to, before we finish this part, to have a... Go on, Hans, just clear off. saying we could send out another suicide general <laughs> suicide general <laughs> I'd just love to be able to ambush that bozo there but he probably won't I think we'll just let him come but if he comes one more bit forward we can get him within a triangle I think that could be good Slav, Svet died, decided to put son. Right guys, you're on your way. On the move, lads. Next turn you should be able to settle that. Let's just have a quick look. It's gonna... Zolko... Yeah. Anyone else here? Where are you? You're looking good. You're a new general. Got quite a big family still. Let's just shrink the family down a bit. So you're out there. So tempted what would you have of me? just On to keep just to see where the, hun the Huns are there. Else. So it's just so tempted, but as soon as I, if I show you on the map here. As soon as I populate that area, the Huns will know, and then they will just sweep in and attack. So, and so it's going to be a bit of a waste of a general or resources up here. Where up here, we've probably got a good shot. Actually, what I'm going to talk about is the victory conditions. I can't remember if I've actually talked about this for some time. We have to build a wonder here. Now, if you've been following my White Huns campaign, I finally. I've been dragging out a bit, I must admit, and I finally got a minor victory. And what we need to do is build a wonder in here. In Rafar. And I've got to find it now. Wonder, here it is. And you've got to see, to build this wonder, we've got to have 70% state religion. We've got to control wood and iron. So we, we've got access to wood, but I'm not sure where if there's any iron resource filter so we've got to find some of an iron resource I don't know um, trade I don't know if anyone we can have to find somebody to trade with to get some iron just to build that minor resource up I don't think there's anything else we can do actually let's give this guy um, do I want to give these guys? Yeah, I think we we're gonna gently build up our our armed forces. This good old Darko out here, my brave um, general. Right, Darko. my colonizing general hopefully the governor won't move to the provincial capital straight away if he does it's that would be a bit of a pain in the neck because I could end up losing a governor I 
and I think what we'll do is if we can get this settlement up and running we'll build a religious center in here the Huns where are you moving to go on move west go west attack Pontus attack anyone just go away oh looks like they're oh they've gone further west that's good we might have time for a there's the Antian separatists just being a pain in the butt but we might be able to get them this time I mean, we might be able to send our faction air out after them. Right, deceive, outcome success. Right, gonna colonize that for 90. Kokos. Ooh, we're going to get that built in. Four turns. Oh, God. Going to knock that down. As you can see, we're now right next door to the Rugins. And what I'm going to do down here is exactly what I did last time, but I'm not going to use one of my family. That was another Darko. Um... I'm gonna raise an army here. Again, I'm going to recruit someone really, really cheap to go with him. And you're gonna make a dash for there. Now the question is, can we hit the... Do I take a chance and come down here? Or do I see if I can hit these guys against the river? That might have been a miscalculation, guys, but got minus four here. Right, we're going to keep going at it. The gods speak through thunder yep. and storm, but they tell us. I'm going to pay for that. Um, I want those guys on side. I'm quite happy for them to. I don't want them stabbing me in the back. And if they're going to expand or have a go at the anti and separatists, I'll be quite happy. Just going to leave that agent there to keep an eye on the Huns. Again, it's going to be four turns, so. I think what we'll do is, well, we've got this guy, we've paid for him. I th well, I think what we can do is, oh, you've gone round there. We might be able to get them. Well, we're going to play chase, chase the anti and Attack! Oh, God. Right, yeah. You're quite happily doing your thing there. Right, I want you out here really go for it Destination reached. food consumption well, you've got plenty of food so I think we're keep expanding you up this way just to get the public order going or is there anything better that we can go for ah yeah you've got this up here haven't you in and sacred grove in bonus for irrigation bonus fertility plus one or is there anything better here that we could really really do with this would be good well from adjacent buildings but that's going to create squalor Difficult, difficult chieftain's house. I think we're going to go with sanitation here. 
just to get this up so we can expand this area quite quickly. Um, can you recruit? No, we're not going to recruit any any more guy, troops, uh, guys, because that's going to cost us money. The governor's moved over there, which is going to be a bit of a pain in the neck. So I'm going to go for another end turn. Sorry if I'm starting to feel a bit tense here, guys, but yeah, you keep you come down here, then maybe we will wipe out those Antians separatists yeah if I'm getting a bit tense um, it's it's tense to be honest <sighs> um, I just would like to get through these turns I mean it'd be nice to finish this part with two provincial capitals one on the sea uh, I think I'm gonna play it until I've got those either destroyed or established and then that would be the end of this part guys so I don't think we're going to get any battles in this part but I think it's time for the Antians to expand <sighs> we're just going to have to chase these bozos around the map but I think that's all we can do I, I need to get rid of them because if I can destroy them I can pick up a bonus Spania. A lot of factions still left. You compare this, let's play with my hu white huns, let's play Fook, former judge. I'm certainly going to have to, gonna have to... Oh, that's going to hit the economy, so we need to get these guys in as quickly as possible. Get my, got to get my faction air in. Public order, govern province. So, who's my governors? You certainly need to be a judge. Have I got any other governors here that I can put in? Uh, I think you need to be a, an elder. How about tribal trees, replenishment cost, personal influence, recruitment, personal pub tax rate, 2%. I think you're just going to have to stay at that level. Anybody else we can get in? I think you need to seek a wife you need to be in as a companion anything that you have already established I, think you, I need you in as an elder and you don't have enough clout Ready for you go for it and colonize that Just see where the Huns are. Is there nothing else? I'm not, sorry, I'm a bit paranoid, but they're actually over there, so we may get away with this, guys. Um, Ready I think battle. if we come back to here, Set we might as well get one. some benefit from a bit of public Ready order in this area. Yeah. You're doing quite nicely here. You've got two turns to get that going. We need to get you. Forgot last time. How can I assist you? Heading out. There's the Huns in that corner raiding. I think we're just so there's no point bringing an army here to defend this settlement because of the effect of the morale. There's no way that that army could defend a, a desolate settlement against. Right, we might have these guys pinned in now. It'd be nice if for the Sclavians to kind of destroy those guys. Oh, 
it'd be nice to be able to push out and take. I've, I'd like to get this. Well, I certainly would hope to be able to get this to a minor victory, even a military victory. I mean, just to prove that it can be done. I think we're just going to have to wait for them to get close so we can trap them. Otherwise, we're just going to be chasing them all over the map. Let's see where they're. I mean, it may seem a bit heartless, but I mean, I'd like to see the Huns. Western Roman Empire factions no more. Oh, so the Western Roman Empire's gone. Uh, hostile, well, what, you can take our hand. Political favours, power respectable. So, Black, Black has gained a rank. We've got one more turn here and we'll be in business. We've got some sanitation going here, which is really good. We've got ten sanitation, how come we got? Yeah, you've got three turns to survive. I think the Huns are still quite happily chilling out here. We've got plenty of public order now. Public order's getting nice and positive. I just don't think there's much we can do about those idiots. I think we're gonna invest some in some food here. We've now got the sanitation. Probably what we would do is in this part, well we'll build this up, leave this desolate. Obviously we need to get some stuff in here. I mean, preferably a religious building actually, because this has got plenty of food. So I think the first one we're going to get in here is is a religious building. I think get the religion going. Lek is a governor, and I haven't got his campaign spot in. I'm certainly going to give you that. Anything else to do with governors in here? Commanders or ammunition? Commanded force, commanded force, commanded force, reinforcing. No, this is all to do with charge bonus, battle infantry, commander's aura. No, I don't think there's much here. Right, you've got a couple of skill points. Certainly going to give you that. Um, agent recruitment costs, that's not much benefit in that. Morale for all naval recruits. Yeah, well, you might as well have that. Maybe we will make you a governor. Oh, you've moved, the governor's moved over to here as well. Right, so we don't have a lot of cash, so we're just going to have to burn through the turns, fingers crossed. Let these guys just keep chasing them. They might actually finally do us a favour. I mean, if this army, anti and separatists, come up this way, we're if we can trap them. So we'll see which way they go. If they come north we can bring our faction air out to try and trap and destroy them. So I say it's going to be a, a cautious time. Oh here they come. but they're raiding, so they might actually not move that far. Oh no, these guys have come west, so that's not much point. I, I, do I, now the question is, do I waste money trying to hinder the Huns, which may end up with my... or do we just gamble on having that? I think what we're going to do... So you've got two turns to go, right, I'm going to get you over here, um, can I, how much work hindering the army cost me, so go for a misdirect on the Huns, success, so we've reduced their movement range, you've got two turns to go. If you can get in Warriors all. and we can move you back this way, put
put you into here and gamble on so we've got Karkos here we're going to clear that I'm going to go straight up for that straight away because we need the garrison here the garrison at the moment here is very very small in this here Garrison here is big, so you're coming this way. You're coming this way. Actually, get you into Carcos so that you can defend this now. You can probably be disbanded, actually. Oh, I don't know. So I'm getting one more turn. And these guys can just keep chasing. Eastern Romans. There's the Separatists. They're moving this way. I think they might be fancying an attack on Silius. So maybe we will leave that army in there for the moment. Huns are there. I think what we're going to do is disband this guy to save money. I'm going to put you in Anacopia. That will give that a defensive capability. I'm going to drop you into Cariscus. Car I think what we're going to do is get disband you as well because that will put my income back up and I am going to go for the sacred grove here purely and simply so I can get some priestesses because with this here this is very good but I don't. We need to get to this level here, a level four, which consumes food, and actually, can I get to level four if I save the money? <coughs> Is that an option? Maybe that might be a, a good tactic. So maybe we can cancel that and drop in a town. We're going to put a town centre in there because you've got the food at the moment, and then we're going to save the money up to try and get uh, a level two. is try and build this up although we're very very short of food in this area we really need an extra, some extra food consumption in this area so maybe we will need to get uh, an, no we can't build a farm there livestock pens Slavic horse raiders and at the moment this is 40 food if we convert that Maybe we need to convert this to a food. So we're going to go one more turn, guys. Yep, I think that could be the strategy. Well, you've obviously given up chasing the Slavic separatists. So, yep, that's. So this is going to be a period of building, I think, guys. As I say, I will go one more turn to get that up. Of course, that's it, Huns. That's it. You, you attack them. Don't kill my general, my spy. Yeah, I'm quite happy for you to attack 
Pontus and damage yourselves. Win or lose, the Huns will take damage. I'm quite happy for the Huns to do that. We're just going to quietly build and expand. Yep, yeah, that's good, that's good. Sorry I'm rambling to myself guys. Outcome success. So if, I, if you killed my... Yeah, I've done it again. So here. Oh, I suppose we've got no choice. We've got to build a jetty here. Um, certainly going to want to take you up here. See what else we've got. Up here you're, you're doing quite well. You've got plenty of stuff on the go. You're kind of still hanging in here. You're, you're good. I think we'll just put the jetty in there for two turns. And we've got a... Well, we've got a small garrison, but backed up by this army. I think you can certainly defend. And we've got this... I d uh, you won't be able to get out against these guys. They're just being annoying. Your Silas is building up quite nicely here. You'll be built soon. And the next, obviously, the next target will be here. Once this is got well as established, we'll get up here, repopulate this area. This is going to give us our first thing, and see if we can get some trade now. Anyone? Rugians. Can we try get a trade a deal with you? Tongue that speaks without wisdom is not welcome. No, they're not ready yet. Um, about non-aggression. The guards will have me listen to you. No. Nope. Um, uh, you're the nearest to who group that actually likes us. The Eastern Romans are friendly. They like us. Afgrids still don't like us. So, gotta go get through a, a maybe a couple more turns, guys, just to push this process forward. So, so these guys are still chasing them. I'm quite happy for the Slavians to chase them. And I, won't, I think we're just gonna hang in there, see what the Huns do because we're, we're starting to build a power base now and hopefully no other bozos but to be honest we can defend with the, the settlements we've got the fact that they're building up and becoming stronger we're, we're actually building up Settlements, the Antian separatists are still moving down. I think what we might do is save some cash to see if we can get that religious building, I think. And then we can push out some priestesses, get some agents going. Roman separatists are no match for their enemies, they're gone. So this is going good, construction complete. We've got some nice food going here. Got the goat pens, got sari here it's now. Part of me says convert this to goat pens, that would improve the food in this area. But this would be even better if we could get up to that, because that would give us more religious influence, which is what we need here to get this going so I think so over here we've got this is looking good we could go up another level here and we've actually got some trade I think Thank we're going to get you back out this way just to keep an eye on what the Huns are doing and a 
Cornucopia is kind of still... You can, oh, you can see here, it's like a small settlement here compared to the original large settlement. This is going to give us food consumption. It has the food in here. The food consumption is good here. I think we're going to keep building that up. Actually, no, I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to go ready for duty. Yep. You've gained a rank 4. So, got a governor here. I'm certainly going to push you up here. Public order, that's good. Morale when defending. Anything else down here that's... Oh, yep. I'm going to get you in here. Actually... Let's, let's cancel that and go with that and that because you're still building up Karkos here so getting things cheaper will be better. Oh, you've retreated again. So I think the Antian fortunes are being turned round now, guys. As I say, I think this will probably be the last turn. We'll, we'll kick off that religious building so we can get some priestesses out. Plus we'll get the extra fertility. Oh, I, just, I will check it before we I actually build it. There's the Antian Separatists back again. Being generally annoying, but we're going to destroy you eventually. So oh. between our lands we now end. Your men. Does that mean we're going to be going to war with the Arons? Great. motion no nope, I'm not gonna do I'm gonna do nothing on that because if you've kind of want to move up I'm quite happy with that I don't know how you moved up but so we've actually got so so what's up with the Aaron the the problem with these guys is that be welcome I suppose I I I mean with my luck the way the luck my luck's going with this campaign we'll probably end up having to declare war with the so this will take this to irrigation level three I think we're gonna do that okay oh, don't have any money any more money, we're cl going to clear that. And this is going to take five turns. Yeah, with my luck now, we'll probably end up at war with the, with the Sassanids or something stupid like that. So we, we'll probably end up having to... Well, it looks like the Huns have gone off somewhere. No, they've gone back over into their little corner. Um, so this is looking good. We've got some research to do. I'd love to do that. And that. So what have we got here? Smith's Guild. Really could do with some economic stuff going here. Amber Market, Slave Market. What we got here? Tem Temple of the Shimmering Wolf. What we got help kick minus thirty percent for all unit mercenaries. That could be very very useful. So the skilled gain. I'm reluctant to to build this purely and simply because I I don't have the economy equipment for. I think we're it's difficult to choose. Um, none of this is. I mean, ideally, I could do with that, but I can't build that until I've got that. 
this recruitment costs. I'm going to go with that because I'm going to be using mercenary horsemen. So most of my cavalry is going to be mercenaries. So I think having that capability is going to be quite useful. So you've got public orders good. We're actually here kind of negative, but this will improve over time. We got and hopefully um, next time we're going to go one more turn, guys, so I can do that before I forget, and we'll convert the pens to goat pens. That will give us a bit more fertility. Oh, you're coming back for another go at the Antians. Separatists. So, yes. We finally copper break, expand, and we probably end up... I'm waiting for it. For the Arons to declare war on us and the Sassanid Empire to join them. I suppose the, on the positive side is unlike the Huns, we won't take food attrition if they attack and we can really grind away at their armies. Come on guys, you you you, you really really want to attack that Celis because my if you attack my I'm going to send my troops out to sally out. Because Silas has got a big enough garrison to destroy that silly little army. Thurungians are no match for the enemies. They've gone. So, just to have a quick look round. The, I would like to improve the amount of food. Uh, army recruitment capacity. So... Just gonna have a look around first. Check these settlements. I'm gonna knock you down quite quickly. Something tells me I need to get a sacred grove in here. How's the religion going? The religion's building up quite nicely at the moment. So we're just gonna have a look round. Carcos is looking good. Yeah. market saw so so many things to choose from here you've got plus two food at the moment so we've got a replenishment rate so we've kind of got positive food at the moment uh, I know squalor Public order's good here. I could really do with some spies and agents to get out and find some stuff. You've got got no artisans here. We really need um, here to get some Slavic archers, build this up. But I think probably more most important of all is we need to get this underway so that I can get some agents at the moment I've been skimming very very carefully closely with agents um, so what would I expand here I can't expand Raha I'm going to leave that for the moment get something in here um, what's the food in here the food's good I'm gonna go with uh, sacred grave ability replenishment punishment religious influence <sighs> that would be nice but I think it has to be an artisan or a town center I think because this is my kind of front line. Let's see what we can get. <coughs> I 
I think this is because this is going to be my front line. I'm going to build an artisan, and then what we're going to do is, I know I talked about it up here, is we're going to build uh, a smithy in here. And what the smithy will do is give us Slavic lav long sh large shields. It will actually, and I think if we come back to here, Noble Spearman replaces Slavic Spearman. Perrin's Choice replaces. And it's so difficult. No. Um, I think we're going to need the town centre, to be honest, guys. Because I think even the, the town centre will give us wealth. If we come this way with Slavic Champions, we can we can build up this area here. We've got market stalls going over there. We've got something here which will give us actually n no. So it's a tough call. No, sorry, my f apologies for my indecision, but no, I'm, I'm definitely going to go with that just to get the, the money flowing in. And Raha's looking good. We we'll need to think about what we're going to need to build here. You're looking good. You could really do with going up. Why is that free? Will that let me do it? Do I get a free upgrade? Oh, I'll take that. Not sure why I'm getting a free upgrade, but. That's a bit spooky. Infertile. Oh well. I'll take it. Is this one free? Anything else free? I don't know if the game glitched out there, but I th I'm going to take it. I have to live with it. I'll just go one more turn. Any guys know why it caused that? As I'm quite happy to. <laughs> if you can explain it, I'm. I mean, do the Antians get a free upgrade uh, to a tier three city? I mean, I know I'm risking starvation but I mean I can always knock it down again or whether the game just glitched out on that but I mean a nice big strong garrison there will be I'd, I'll be quite happy to have I think this will be the last turn, guys. We're coming up to. I've been rambling on for quite some time now. Not much has happened, and oh, a lot's happened. We've expanded. We've now established two provincial capitals. Our economies kind of coming together. So just have a check. Karkos is doing okay. I'll just knock you down. Uh, you're doing okay. I think. Got a little bit of a food surplus. You, you're doing okay here. Uh, I'm not going to expand that because obviously we need something here. Part of me says expand that. Um, we can put in how's the squalor here? Sanitation's good. So you can expand to troughs here. Something tells me that would be nice to have. And for some reason the economies so we could expand to that. That would give us more cash. This is coming along quite nicely. We should have these buildings 
developing quite nicely. We, I mean, we might have to shuffle some of these buildings around. So, any of you guys kind of saying, "What's he doing building this? He's crazy." I think we're going to go with that just to get the cash. So what else do we get here? Stockade. Well, six hundred and fifty. Uh, Seven hundred. Hmm, it's not brilliant. I mean, I mean, we could do probably do better with a, a bone carver, but the squalor's going to be pretty terrible. And we've only got the one squalor building left, so. Hmm. And you don't really have a lot of surplus because of that. Got a well. We could drop a second well in here, but what benefit would that give? Well, we could put a second farm in, but that would soon. I think we're going to put a, another well in here just to really push the sanitation up. But then if I put a second well in there, I won't be able to build anything else. I don't know. But you've got a massive. Warlord's Keep. Really, really need cash. 850. This is food consumption. Doesn't consume squalor. So, I think we're going to put a Warlord's Keep in there just to... With this working alongside this we should be able to no that's going to consume food isn't it <sighs> decisions decisions I'm kind of getting a bit penned in here guys with I think we what we may have to do is drop this down this guy's um Three, four. That only goes up to 750. That's. I'm going to need to think about that, guys. I'm not sure. I've got. I think I might be able to spend money in a better way. Uh, you've got plenty, so I think we're going to go with some port, military port. We don't really need a military port. Wealth from maritime commerce. I mean, that would be a nice boost. I think trade jetties, but at the same time, that would give us 50 food. The public order here is good. I think what we're going to do is go for a trade jetty here for cash and a farmstead. Punishment, Slavic religion. Yeah, I think we'll go with trade jetties there because it doesn't consume food, and that's going to give us that will give us a nice boost to cash. Got really going to have to watch the. Let's just check something here. Bonus, irrigation bonus to this province. So this that would. Um. See, we're a bit trapped with this here area here. You've got loads of sanitation. I still don't know where that sanitation comes from. Religious osmosis, artisan. You're building that there. We're still not brilliant with food, so. Part of me says, I think we get 30 food from that, we'd only get 16 food from that, and this would only bring it up to 50 odd food. I think to be honest, dropping this in will be, would give us a lot more food than actually, uh, 
and sanitation. So, and that may help across the board here. And that will support the squalor from here. So we should be able to build this up all the way to give us plenty of cash. And this should, I say, I think we may have to readjust some of these buildings over time. I mean, that's our only trade resource at the moment, but I think eventually we may, if we get another s source of wood, I may have to knock that down. But then I need that to, uh, I don't know. Anyway, this is where I'm going to leave it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. We've now... The Antian Empire is now spread out. Obviously, in the next part, we're going to be looking to take this settlement here to complete this province. That will give us two complete provinces, part of another province. And then we'll be looking to kind of move out this way. And you can see the Rugins are expanding quite aggressively this way. So I've got a feeling eventually we're going to have to go to war. It says neutral deteriorating, so I think eventually we're going to have to re renew our war with the Rugins, which in some ways will be quite nice because if they've got these settlements and I can capture them, as opposed to having to resettle them, we can do it. So yes, we're going to get our finish off building our market here. Get be able to get our spies out. This will build up. We'll have a nice strong garrison here. We'll take this settlement, complete this one. We'll probably take this settlement as well, and because that will kind of complete this frontier here, and it will secure our capital well back behind the defensive line. Uh, hopefully see they're deteriorating people aren't liking us anymore which is a bit of a thing so let's have a quick look through yeah you're deteriorating I don't know why I suppose it's because we're now becoming a, a great power and so this is the old great power mechanism coming in here so Rugins. I don't know where the guards will have me listen to you. No, nope. do not pass the day in words without merit. No, I think we're going to be at war with the Rugins fairly soon. We've only got one trading partner, one defensive ally. Yeah, cultural affinity. But that's where I'm going to leave it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. And in the next time, I'll just have a quick shift just to see what the... So, oh, so where's the Huns gone? Oh, no, they've moved right over there now. Let's just... Let's get close to them and just the to see... I mean, they've got a very weak army, so... In fact, I think what we'll do is we'll now probably bring this spy back, actually. Oh, over to here, see what's actually going on. But that's for the next part, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. Until the next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.